it is so important to be consistent because it has taken me so long to record this video literally like when I was recording pretty much every single week I didn't bat an eyelid but like now I've had significant time off it's almost like I'm I'm having to take baby steps again to get back into it but yeah I'm I've not been around for a minute I was doing social distancing long before corona came like I just felt like I needed some time to myself but I hope everyone is well I hope you guys are spending quality time with your family at home I hope you guys are staying at home and not going out anyhow like it's not by force for you to take a jog if you know that jogging is not really your thing you know like it's not by force for you to go for a walk it's it, like it's, it's obviously yeah it's nice to go outside and get sunshine but i feel like some people are definitely taking the piss and it's not by force to throw a party i know it's there's a lot of you guys who have birthdays during this time but you'll not die if you don't celebrate this one birthday right now like i feel like when all of this is over then there'll be like mass celebrations obviously we're still with social distancing things in place but like you can celebrate it then you can travel then if this is temporary just keep reminding yourself this is temporary we're all saying we're all going through the same thing at the same time you know so yeah i hope everybody's well wishing you well wishing your family well your friends well partners well you know kids everything so yeah um in today's video i want to talk about being tired of your own bs because i'm not gonna lie long before corona came I was tired of my own BS and this video has been a long time coming I've been saying that I want to put this out and I just I just couldn't like I just haven't been feeling myself lately I really haven't been feeling myself lately so that was also why I was just like oh, I can't be asked I can't be asked I can't be asked but um yeah this this one is very very important because being tired of your own BS will give you the kick that you need in order to like put you back on track because I've always been someone that's very focused you don't have to ask me twice to do something but as of late that's definitely been something that I've kind of struggled with um but you know it is what it is you live and you learn and I watched this video this TED talk on YouTube um by a lady called Ashanti Johnson and she basically was talking about um visualization the power of visualization so she is a fitness guru and she really wanted her own fitness studio and she was looking down um from her apartment onto the car park outside of her house um and she would visualize that the the fitness studio that she would have one day would also have a full car park um and that was something that she used to do pretty much every single day until it actually came to fruition so then she just um she gave us like a task to do as listeners um, which was to close our eyes and go to a safe space. And I got, you know, upset. I got a bit emotional because I I thought of the last, sa the last safe space that I had had. Um, and for me, it was in my old apartment in Abu Dhabi. Um, I used to have this beautiful view of like the sea. And um, I used to sit on the balcony and just kind of look out from, from that particular apartment. And I haven't lived there for almost a year and a half now so it made me really sad because I was like how will I create this safe space for myself it will literally be a room in my home that I own that I bought with my own money that will be the only way that I kind of like have my own safe space and um I I, I don't know I kind of had to like sit down and say to myself who is stopping me from doing the things that I want to do in this life. Like I've already told myself, like me, I'm literally like, I, I wrote everything down cause I didn't want to like miss anything out. But yeah, like I had to like go back and just say, you know, I've written lots of things. Like for example, in 2019, I had like a vision board full of so many things. And one by one, I was taking off, like taking off things, tick, 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 tick. My 2020 vision board, did I even make it? I didn't even make it properly. Like I wrote down affirmations and things that I wanted to do like on my phone, but I didn't have it up on a board. And I feel like um, there's been lots of things that I said I was gonna do and I haven't quite done them because maybe it's not staring me in the face um, or whatever. I, I don't know what it is, but I just haven't been on the same motivational path that I'm, I'm normally used to for myself or the same trajectory that I'm like used to but I'm gonna work on on getting back there so 
yeah, I, um, I thought I would give some tips in terms of like, if you're in the same boat as me, because especially when you're on locked in lockdown, you have no, you have nothing else to think about, but your life, your life stares you in the face every day. There's no distraction. There's no work. There's no school. There's no going to go and see friends. There's no party, nothing. You are literally staring at your life every single day and your life is saying hello, hi, and you have no choice but to do something about it, like right about now. Obviously, this is not me coming across like Rock Nation, Brunch, Twitter or such people that, and what I mean by that is those people that will be like, during this time, you know, you have to pick up a brand new trade or start a new business. And if you ain't done anything during this time, then you're lacking. But if you ask these people, what have they done during this time? They ain't done nothing. So I'm not trying to come like that, like on a preachy tip to anybody. I'm not, that's not what my advice is about. Like if you need this time to rest, because I def- I definitely needed this time to rest. The first couple of weeks, not gonna lie, I've been taking it easy. But now I feel like, you know, I've had some time to myself. And now is you, I'm starting to get the creative flow. The juices are flowing. I'm getting a bit of zeal to, to kind of do some of the things that I said I was gonna do at the start of the year that I, I started, but I didn't quite um, see to completion. So yeah, I um, in that task where we closed our eyes, I, you know, visualized me doing up my home and sitting at a computer managing my, you know, future business. And um, she said to add in people that would benefit from you living the life that you've carved out for this new life that you wanna carve out for yourself. And I did, I imagined those two people that would benefit. And then I opened my eyes and I was crying. I was crying like, like tears. Cause I was like, I'm so tired of my BS. Like who is stopping me from, from getting what I want, it's me, there's nobody else, nobody else is saying to me any different, like, other than myself, because I'm worrying about, you know, finances, like, if you know me, I'm somebody that, like, if I want to buy something, I have to have extra money, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes it can really hold me back, um, but yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm, like, to do things perfectly, and if it's not perfect, then for me, it's not good enough, and that can sometimes hinder me in, life isn't about perfection it's about doing something with passion and putting that out and once you've done something passionately and to the best of your ability that's good enough you know it's not always about the aesthetics of things so yeah woke up crying and then I was like you know I'm I'm gonna make a change I'm gonna change my life um and I started I didn't quite finish but it's okay so um yeah I um I decided I'm not gonna block what's for me because the same way that you can attract things, you can also block things. So as of late, I've been trying my best to get back into the law of attraction and l- law of like or law of love. People call it various things, but ultimately manifesting what is for you so that it will come your way and not worrying about the process because the process is often something that I'm like, I'm like, I need to know how to do this, this and this and why we're doing it. Um, but sometimes the not worrying about the process and just kind of like saying, you know what, giving yourself a date to complete something by and having people on standby that you can ask for help from is really important. And, um, also understanding that maybe the way in which you've completed something is not necessarily the way you're going to complete it in the future um as well so yeah like just 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 removing control like there's no point of sitting down trying to control every little aspect of my life um so yeah my major tips in terms of getting over your bs and actually going out into the world and doing what you want to do is first and foremost remembering that whatever you want in this life you can have it if you want a 20 bedroom 30 bathroom 500 acre home that is between you and the world yeah nobody can stop you from um who's messaging me like this um (laughs) 
nobody can stop you from having it. It is literally only you. So if you have convinced yourself that you're gonna have this particular thing, then you're gonna have this particular thing and that's that. And equally remembering that when you tell people about things that's going on with you, majority of people will not believe you. And that's fine. I'm sure the same person that's created a boat that said that, you know, we're gonna put this thing on water and it's gonna carry us. We're gonna float, we're gonna glide across. Loads of people told them that they were crazy, but that one, they had one person that said, yeah, I'm sure you can do it. As long as you have that one person and that one person could be you, that's all that matters um, in terms of you achieving what you want in this life. Two, whatever lie or doubt you've put in your head and it's deep rooted, you have to uproot it and throw it in the dustbin because it serves no place or no purpose in your life anymore. You are done with that thing. You are moving forward. We ain't got time for doubt. We ain't got time for lies. And if you're anything like me, I am my worst enemy. It's not outside people, it's myself. I really have to like fight myself sometimes to get certain things done. Um, Another thing to do is to clarify your vision, yeah? So if you want something, you have to ask specifically for that thing that you want. Don't come and say, oh, I want a nice house. No, say I want however many bedrooms, um, the location, I want to drive, I want a garden. In this, in this climate, you need a garden because this quarantine business, especially if you have kids, like you can just tell them to go outside and lock them outside and have peace and quiet. Or like if you want a car, you're going to say specifically the car and the make and the year that you want. Or if you want to be in a relationship with somebody, you're going to specify all the things like, I want this man to be single. Yeah, because you don't want to go and meet the love of your life now and they're married. That doesn't make sense. So all of these things you must specify, like clarify your vision. like, And, you know, if it's to do with good health, you know, and situations and happiness say that you want to be happy and also talk about some of the things that you want to make you happy as well so we're clarifying we're making it crystal clear this is what i want period moving forward um what else what else what else what else i also um said work towards achieving what you want so that doesn't mean you have to have a regimented process but each day you know you're going to be taking a step closer so if for example i wanted to be fluent in spanish i know i'm going to go and download a rosetta stone or whatever and take watch youtube videos and find a spanish pen pal to be right into i don't know just things different steps that you can put in place that's going to help you get closer to your goal basically um and also be relaxed with these steps because they may not go in the order that you thought that they would and last but not least imagine close your eyes and imagine how good you're gonna feel when you have this thing and there's no more shit to be tired of oh my gosh like like re- like close your eyes with me now yeah and imagine how good you're going to feel when you no longer have to worry about that thing anymore because now it's in your life and it's staple and it's not going anywhere like you know because that's the thing about working hard for something you remember when you didn't have it you remember the process of you getting there now you have it you cherish it it's like when we were small and your parents used to buy you things you used to neglect it but once you started working and you had your own paycheck that is when it was like okay you know what i bought this thing with my own money so people in this house should not come and be touching my things anyhow because you know how hard you worked in order to be able to buy that particular thing and that's going to be the same thing with whatever it is that you've carved out for your life so i can't wait to hear people's testimonies even in 2020 please don't write off this year i know this year does not seem to make sense right now i know that the, the state of the world is it's like sometimes i wake up and i'm like is this really real but we still have several months of this year left and we are fortunate if you're watching this that means that you're fortunate enough to be at home and have a device to watch this from. So just practice gratitude, num- uh, number f- number five, or the, the kind of fifth point that I wanna make in regards to this today, or me- I can't remember it's the sixth point, one of the two. But yeah, gratitude is a must. Um, and be thankful for everything. 
that you have already and everything that you're gonna have because it's almost like once you say thankful thank you for something it's like okay it's done boom like you start moving towards it as well so this advice is very much for you guys as it is for myself i'm really thinking out loud here but i know that there are people out here that need to hear this so yeah guys until next time i'm going to try my best to come as frequently as possible during this time i guess i don't really have an excuse because yes i am working but it's not like i have to get up and wake up early and grind you know do you know what i mean like the whole like razzmatazz of going to work and coming back tired and just being shattered i don't have any of that so um yeah thank you guys and i will be back soon i promise i promise i promise yeah take care make sure that you like subscribe if subscribe if you haven't already guys um and share it share it because i know that there's people out here that need to hear this message by force by fire obviously i know it's not by force for you to take my advice but it's actually by force for you to share this video so yeah go ahead and do that so yeah until next time